Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you an easy 67% win rate Wukong jungle build. Wukong got buffed recently, which gave his E massive bonus damage against monsters, which is awesome because his E is AOE damage, which lets him clear his camps much, much faster. Playing Wukong is a lot like playing a Zin Zhao. You have a point and click dash, lots of good damage, except you also have a second dash off your W. So your ganks pre six are a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more consistent and you scale better. The biggest downside to Wukong compared to a Zin Zhao or Lee Sin is your single target raw one verse one to the death damage is slightly lower. That's mainly what you're giving up. For our runes, we have Conquer Triumph, Lacquered Coup de Grasse, Free Boots with Cosmic. We're gonna be rushing down Divine Sunder into Black Cleaver for the 67% win rate build. You get 50 ability haste off that, which is awesome because Wukong loves to spam his abilities and he's somewhat R reliant once everyone else has their R's, he needs his R to be able to keep up. We're gonna go ahead and do a full clear. Wukong invades are solid, but if you're looking to do an early invade, you'd be better off on a Lee Sin or a Zin Zhao for that matter. We're gonna auto attack and Q reset. What keeps you healthy in the jungle is your passive. Try to constantly keep that up. Getting that juicy extra armor and health regen every time you hit a champion or a monster. You can keep it on most of your camps. If you're on one side of your jungle, you should be able to do all three camps with all 10 stacks up. It's a little bit more challenging to pull it out. You can still make it happen though, like we did there. Uh, I think we're barely gonna, oh yeah, we lost it, it's fine. A EW auto attack Q reset will get you a back up to 10 really fast. Every time your clone hits something, it also gives you a stack. So I would, wouldn't stress out too much about it. It's just something to keep in mind before you go into fights or something you want to look to keep up if you can. Also, whenever you hit something, it puts your Q on a lower cooldown. Your clone also contributes to that. And if he's asking for a gank. I don't really want to gank pre-red buff, and Nivea should be fine playing underneath turret like that. All right, we'll go mid now. We don't have to finish full clear. Full clear Wukong's about like a full clear master. You finish round 320, 325. We just got sided by a ward. Good to Nivea wall, and Nivea stun. We're going to have to W. I'll attack. Oh, Q, we didn't get off the Q reset. We needed that <laughs> last auto. Our Q wouldn't have killed her if we used it any sooner. We got wrecked from her uh, movement speed and we missed Scuttle Crab. That really sucks. Just needed one more auto attack in honor. It's going to put us in an unfortunate situation. But at the very least, we're still going to get a Scuttle Crab. Good luck to gang bot. And when we went for my Krug, that's really greedy. Singe is going to punish him. We'll come up behind these guys. Oh. Auto attack Q reset. Down he goes. Bye bye Twitch. That's a double for us. I don't want to really take any of these last hits. I just want to get them low for Samir. I think she's trying to get as much gold as she can before she backs here. So I'm actually going to grab the wave right here up against the wall. That way our wave can crash. Now Samira can look to do a reset. Perfect. First back, looking for a call fields and I, I guess as much of uh, the rest as we can get. I prefer to get call field Sheen, but we didn't have enough gold for that. You rarely will have enough for that. Nar looks kind of gankable. He hasn't backed yet. Might be able to rush this gank down into wraps then mid. Oriana phase rush makes it really hard to gank her. The big burst of movement speed. Her flash is on cooldown. As long as we can come up off from behind them, we kind of get to hold on to our dashes for a while. He's about to get big mode. And he apparently saw me coming. 
That was weird. He has really fast reaction times, or in fact, I was on a ward. I'm going to go ahead and leave this be. Getting that wave was about a camp and a half of XP, so it's not going to put us too far behind going for that. I'll look for the Orianna, since she's doesn't have flash. I was just warded as well. Yeah, I think that's warded. Anivia landed everything, but those minions are shredding her to where Orianna did more damage to Anivia, even though Orianna didn't even try to hit her back. We want to hit level 6 no later than 7 minute 30. If we're hitting it later than that, it means we're pretty far behind. We have Scuttle coming up. Should probably focus on my bot lane. It'll be the easiest gank. Nars kiting out the singe. Nar also took phase rush. Disgusting. Phase rush is so annoying to gank. We're gonna have to W to close distance. E auto attack Q. Down she goes. Finally got what was coming to her. Well played by the Anibia. We have three kills. That's pretty sweet. Mumu could be watching us from a bush. He could be somewhere else on the map, could have just reset, so we kind of have to hurry. Use my W to tank it and it'll also help me do a little bit more damage. I think we get it. Yeah, we get it. Nice. I'm behind them. They don't know I'm here. Mumu's Q's on cooldown. Auto attack Q. Oh, come on. Don't do me like that. That was perfect from Brom. They just canceled my... Uh, dash there that's so annoying and your early levels your r doesn't do that much damage to where it puts your q on a lower cooldown whenever you hit anything with anything or your clone it puts q on lower cooldown so once your q's back off a of cooldown after you knock them up with your r you cancel r auto attack q reset because you'll do way more damage that way your r is mainly for canceling people's jumps leaps and for CCing them. But in terms of raw damage output, especially pre Black Cleaver, where your R can stack that up pretty well. Like I said, once your Q's up, you're pretty much gonna cancel it, unless you're spinning on three, on two or more people at the same time, in which case your R might give you more damage since it is AoE. This Brahm's incredibly useful. I'll attack Q reset. I've red buff slow on him. He's so screwed. I'm going to hold the wave out here for Samira. Uh, I'd actually like to reset. Dragon would be an okay option here. Thing is, I'm sitting on so much gold. And maybe you might be able to kill that. Uh, not quite. He saw her coming off a ward or something. But we have six out of six kills. <laughs> yeah, ganking top mid is actually so hard because phase rush. Phase rush is the hardest rune in the game to gank. It uh, pretty much negates slows and it's also a huge movement speed bonus. EW auto attack Q resets. The biggest thing that counters Wukong is big AoE champions like Evelyn or Kiana, where even if Wukong goes into clone mode, you're still going to be hitting him with the majority of your damage at that point. Plus, Eve Charm counters him. You know exactly what's the clone, what's not. You know exactly when he clones, because the clone won't have the charm over, assuming you press charm before you press clone, which is an advantage like 90 to 10 for Evelyn. So, Kiana, Evelyn's hard. Warwick's hard because blood sent. For most matchups, though, it's pretty good for Wukong. He's, he's all around super consistent. Good scaling. Really straightforward. Uh. Yeah, I don't want to sit there and tank that. Pike got off a good stun there. Don't know where Oriana is. Oh, there she is. W-E. Attack. Ooh, they're chasing me. I'm going to R to get away, because mobility OP. I'm going to have to eat at these minions. Later, guys. I can't believe I just got chased by three people, and we just got nothing out of it. Not a single plate. It is what it is. All 
I have a nice little item advantage. Nar hasn't backed yet. This dude's incredibly weak. I'll attack key reset. Down he goes. Singe died there, which kind of sucks. Happens. This is the first time I've taken my golems. For you youngsters, you'd call them Krugs. So I'm just doing fine. Nars a pretty hard matchup for immobile melee champs. Especially if you take space rush. That's so cheesy, man. I don't think I've ever seen face rush Nar before. That would counter Singed Goo really hard. Singed Goo is one of his main chase down tools. Phase Rush, you could run straight through it and still be faster than Singed. Assuming he's not on Ghost and R. Nice. We should probably just play for Drag Soul. We have the scaling. We have Samira, Nivea, Braum, Wukong. Huge scaling. They're not going to have a way to keep Twitch alive. Pipe can't peel for that like a John or a Karma could. They needed an Enchanter support. Lulu, Karma, Janna. Me and Braum are gonna bum rush the Twitch. He's not gonna be able to auto attack. Braum can also block Twitch R with his shield. It's, it's a decent soft counter to Twitch. I know it's warded. All my camps are down. Really nowhere else to go right now. Ooh, Moom is topside. Got caught with his pants down. E, W, auto attack, Q reset. Standard combo. Let's go give these guys a taste. This guy's just leaving all of his camps up. Yeah, this is a dive. Double knockups, beautiful, and Braum tanked like a champ. Feels bad, man. They had really not a whole lot they could do there. I'm getting it nice and low for Samira. Oh, I wasn't really trying to take any. I just wanted the attack speed bonus on my E. That way we can chunk as many plates as possible. Nice. That's a lot of gold for me in the Samira, and we can continue to carry off that. When you're ahead, you have to find safe ways to stay ahead. So four versus two dive, pretty safe. Three versus three fights, two versus twos, three versus twos, ganks, those type of things. You don't you don't want to do fights where it puts them on even footing. There's no reason to do that. If you don't currently see a play, just invade the enemy's jungle. Pay attention to the minimap. If they're gonna react. The worst thing you could do is to like dive two versus two or something like that and throw your lead. Getting close to our cleaver. Very close indeed. We have 10 out of 11 KP. Pretty much every gank that's happened or every kill that's happened on our team, we've been there. Usually as a jungler, you're shooting for 55 to 60% kill participation on your team. You have more than that. A lot of the times it means your team's losing really hard. And the only kills that happens is when you're there. In this case, my team's been staying alive. And they just haven't been getting solo kills. So it makes our KP pretty high. Twitch went mid. Don't know about that one. How many awards does this guy have? I guess a Mumu could get inside of here. I smited it. Not bad at all. Run down the scuttle. Divine Sunder feels so good on Wukong. It also gives you penetration passively. For every item you finish building. Oh, she didn't see me coming. I'm going to W to... Well... I should have E-W'd, not W-E'd. E-W's 
more uh, beneficial because you get more clone damage that way rather than using your clone as a raw dash and getting zero damage from the clone you can e for your dash hot attack key reset clone on top and your clone will get off an auto or two all right solid looks like we'll be wrapping this game up 20 minute mark a-okay with me might as well their scaling isn't bad even though i think we outscale they do have a mumu r nar r ori r and twitch r the only thing that would make their comp better is like i said if they had enchanter support like jana or lulu they, their late game might actually be better than ours Oh, Mumu, E into W, I'll flash for this. E auto attack, Q reset, R. Orion's trying to pinch kill, she's not gonna be able to. Oh, okay, I lied guys, she is able to. Wow, it's a lot of damage output from a phase rush Oriana. Very interesting. So Navy doesn't have any magic resist. Still. We could lay Herald here. I think it'd be a little early. We can break it without Herald. By the time I laid it, we'd have already broken this turret because it takes four or five seconds to set up. We end with this herald we need pick first i don't want to get just an inhib especially pre 20 minute mark is going to give them a bunch of free xp hey buddy q shred this guy's armor all my other stuff's on a cooldown though oh i'm dead i had nowhere to go i still got stunned by the uh pike stun there i couldn't get out of it even with my w it hit me too fast after Black Cleaver, took almost all magic damage there. It's an 80 Twitch, AP Ori, and uh, Amumu both do magic damage. They're basically triple AD. Yeah, I don't know. Hexdrinker wouldn't be bad. Death Stance is just better. De Death Stance gives some ability haste as well. So we'll go for Death Stance. Fine by me. So now what we're looking for is to get one to two kills and lay Herald end. You don't want to take an inhibitor pre 20 or I should say at the max early. So you don't want to take inhibitor before 19 minute mark because Baron doesn't spawn until 20 minute mark. So if you take it way before 20 minute mark, you're just giving them free waves because your super minions are going to be stealing all the waves from you. The enemies will catch up in golden XP if you do that. E, auto attack, Q, reset, W. They're all gonna die now. Beautiful. Some beautiful spinning, spinning, <laughs> spinning staff action. The meat spin master himself. Back at it again. Three of them are down. Now would be a bad time to lay Herald because my teammates aren't here. I only have a little bit longer on it, so I think I might just have to, though. I don't know. It's a tough call. I'll attack key reset. I'm going to W away. Get some distance. I guess I could lay it after Dragon. I want to get at least two turrets in hit in hit with it. I preferably wanted to end that last fight. We lost a couple of teammates to where we weren't going to be able to do any of that. What the actual heck? I got to lay this Herald I'm running out of time. Wait, Brom, what are you doing? Why are you all the way over there? I'm going to hold on to my W. I need to have that dash and utility for my R. 
Got it. Harold's now mid. This Ori's being an absolute pest. Yeah, we, we need to get out of here. That fight went really bad. Yeah, that's a really unfortunate. Pike got a lot of value. Nice dash from Samira. Got you, Pike. And our Herald got a turret, and our Herald's low-key gonna get in him too. That's pretty sick. All right, so our Q is shredding 30% armor. It gets higher per level by 5%. That's awesome. So we get 30% shred on Black Cleaver, 30% on Q. So we're shredding 60% of our armor. Pretty nuts. And we can AoE shred it with our R as well. We don't want to die again. We still have 1,000 gold if they kill us. We don't have that much CS up on Amumu. We've mainly been having better ganks, but he's been farming nearly just as well. I don't know who else is here. I don't want to chase him. It's going to take me a while. I'll kill him too because he has so much armor. Auto attack Q reset. We don't need to burn our R. Beautiful. Twitch is starting to do some damage. That's her phase rush, I think. I think that's what she used. I had to R back. If I got stunned underneath turret, we die. Well, I kind of wasted my R. It is what it is. Auto attack Q reset, got the stun. Oh my god, that's so bad. Come on, baby. Come on, W-E. Ow! Let's go. They landed the massive wombo combo. If they were more fed than us or as fed, we probably would have lost the game there. That was huge combo. Then again, if they were as fed or more fed than us, we wouldn't have taken that fight. So it's just one of those things. Which is bot side. He's kind of rage split pushing. No, you can't fight me, bud. I do way more damage than you do. We are a uh, level up on him. Plus, we have played the still caps, and he doesn't. Play to still caps is one of the best soloist uh, boots in the game for fighting. So since we had played it and he didn't, even though we're both too full item, that made all the difference. Plus, I have Conquer. He has Phase Rush. So, in a full HP fight to the death, the Plated Diff plus Keystone Diff is going to give me a massive leg up on him. All right, Twitch. Feeling like a tough guy. Oh, my God. He got the bounce. I'm not able to finish. Got his exhaust at least, and we didn't burn a flash. So, decent trade in the end. Sitting on 4k gold, that's going to make a difference. We'll go ahead and pick up a Death Dance. And what else are we going to get here? Could grab a Hex Drinker. Yeah, let's go Hex. Orion is doing quite a bit of damage. I generally mention the mechanics and thought process for ganks like while I'm doing the ganks or slightly before but I'll give you guys the quick runny. Your Q auto attack reset and your Q has extra range, more range than your normal auto attack. Your W is a little vein tumble plus invisibility. Your E is a dash plus AOE damage and attack speed bonus and then your R obviously AOE damage, AOE knockup and uh, AOE damage, AOE knockup and a speed up. Wukong has a lot of different aspects in his kit to, for outplays and things of that nature. I don't like what's happening over here. Big fight without me. All it takes is one Amumu Ori R. The team goes to Kabloom. WR. Red Smite on the Ori. Flash R. 
Oh, got him with the Q, extended range. And that's GG's. Landed some fat AoE damage off of our R. And that is why Wukong is a top five jungler right now. His late game carry potential is one of the highest in the game for an AD champion in general, not even just as a jungler. Solid ganks pre six, great ganks post six, solid clear route. All in all, he's a great champion to main and to play. So you should definitely pick him up. Let's take a look at the graphs. Looking at damage to enemy champions, we had a nice little lead. We had more damage dealt than any two players combined. Wukong very balanced, by the way. For damage taken, we had taken the most in the game. And for runes, we got really high value overall. If you guys enjoyed this Wukong jungle commentary guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and definitely try out Wukong. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.